Well, we saw this Armenian in the previous match against Artsiev with the shimmy waza, and um, that was a superb finish, but a <laughs> big surprise, wasn't it? Um, I think Artsiev totally underestimated the ability of the uh, Armenian. Karapetian dropping to his knees there. And the referee hasn't forgot, so... <laughs> an eye on that right but it would appear that um, Ono and Zing are back on but during that time the number one seed in the world number one has taken to mat two so we're going to um, finish watching this one if you want to see Ono and Zing just click on mat number three but given the um, the world record the number one seed, Rustem Orozhov. All those clever people know how to open more than one browser, don't they? Well, Orozhov, as you can see, has got a slight height advantage throws that arm over the top but the Armenian coming behind him looking for the Uranagi well Karapetian definitely not a man to underestimate very powerful but um, the experienced Olympic medalist Orojov seems to be just taking this in his stride. There's a, a Shiro apiece now. Orojov coming over with the left hand to high. But the right of the Armenians underneath. And as we've seen before, comes loves to come in very close the hips in as you can see there but also has the uranagi as a return of the counter well <laughs> wazari well this man is surprising me more and more. Arsiev had his hands full with this man and now you're having the number one seed exactly the same. So Orijov really needs to now step it up into the next gear and start really being a bit having much more an aggressive approach to this contest otherwise he's going to find himself out at the quarter-final stage. So second Shiro. Karapetian for ducking underneath. Oh yes, big Harai. Wonderful attack there. Skorna Wazari brings this back into play. He wasn't even hanging around to think about following it into no. Os Osai was. He could have, couldn't he? He could have he, definitely. He, he was just on the throwing mode. I think this is a situation that Orojov is really now, he's, he's stepped it up into the next yeah. gear. He's, you've just made him mad. That's all it's done. <laughs> he's just been angry from being just caught so silly in the first earlier minute. And now it's just a, it's a payback time. Temi was a following it this time through for the Juju Katami. But um He's all over him now. <laughs> well he's just now just thought, well, I, I better get this finished and over and done with. He was uh, coasting for the first two minutes of this contest. He looked like he had disengaged the um 
Azerbaijan. But um, now after the, the first score went down, Orijov just woke up and just thought, right, let's get this business started. Let's get it over and done with and swiftly move through to the next round. But um, the Kosota there, for the, Ka the Karapetian. And now we're into golden score, but um, the Armenian has the two Shiros, as you can see. One more would be the Hansoki Maki, but he's a very <laughs> dangerous man out there. Oh! You've almost turned. Oh, oh, goodness! Well, there is a real battle going on here, and <laughs> this Armenian's so, so wild out there that you could never write him off. Arminina has the right hand over the top, trapping the left side of the Azerbaijan. Tapping there for the Ashiwaza. Both looking for a sleeve grip. Oh, Kosota! Well, possibly the second, third Shido now will go to the Armenian and the Hansoka Maki will be awarded. In fact, you would like to not see the Shido, the third Shido. You'd like to see more action because I think this is still a very exciting match indeed to be seen. Karapetian, a very dangerous. Oh, well, sadly, it's not to be. And he walked the fine line and um, paid the penalty for it. The Hans Sokimaki has been awarded, and Orojov for Azerbaijan goes through.